Hello, my friends. So for reading this week, you've been watching videos and learning more about the human body as well as um, how we can use um, our vocabulary in a story to um, find out what words mean. We also have been talking about how um, different things are connected throughout a text. So as we're reading, I want you to pay close attention to some of the words that I'm going to share with you because they're going to be coming up a lot in your exit tickets. And some of these, you know, we're talking about, this is really a science topic when you, you know, we learned a little bit about the human body um, a few weeks ago in science. So because it's a scientific topic, it has a lot of really big words and things that might, we probably didn't know before. So I want you to pay close attention as we're reading um, because these words are going to come up again. You see all of our topics here, all of our headings. These are really important for you to know. We know introduction, but this word is skeletal system. So skeletal having to do with the skeleton. This one is muscular system, which I'm sure you could tell muscular has to do with our muscles. The nervous system is actually our nerves and how all of that is connected, which we'll read about. Then we have respiratory system, circulatory system, that means like your circulation, which is your blood flow. Digestive system, which has the word digest in it, which means when we digest our food. Reproductive system, meaning to reproduce. And then conclusion. But I want you to pay attention to these because when you do your exit tickets, you're going to be reading more information about all of these things. So I want you to know a little bit more about the words and what they, how to pronounce them and what they mean because that will definitely help you this week, okay? So pay close attention as we go. Introduction. The human body is an amazing machine. It has many parts that form systems. The systems work together to keep you alive and healthy. Let's look at some of your body's systems. Skeletal system. There are 206 bones in your body that make up your skeleton. Your bones give your body shape and strength. They also protect your inner organs. Most of your bones most of the bones in your body are linked together at joints. There are different kinds of joints. Different joints let your body parts move in different ways. So places where they bend, like your shoulder, your elbow, your knees, your hips, those are all different joints and that allow you to bend and move. Um, your neck, your spinal cord, those are all connected that allow us to bend and turn. Um, our feet, our ankles, all of those, the they're actually all like many separate bones that are all linked together. It's really kind of crazy. The joint that joins your arm and shoulder lets your arm rotate. The joints at your elbows and knees let your lower legs or lower arms and legs move up and down. If it were not for moving joints, you could not walk, run, and swim. Muscular system. Muscles control the movement of your body. There are three kinds of muscles. Skeletal muscle is the muscle that is attached to bones. It makes your arms, legs, fingers, eyes, and other body parts move. Cardiac muscle is the strong heart muscle. It works around the clock, meaning all the time. Smooth muscle is found in your skin, stomach, and other organs. Nervous system. Your brain and thousands of miles of nerve fibers form your body's communication system. The brain is the control center. It receives information from your sense organs, eyes, nose, ears, tongue, and skin. The brain tells muscles what to do. If your fingers go near something hot, a signal goes to your brain. It then sends a signal to tell your hand to move away. So the nervous system has to do with the word nerves. That's where it comes from. So whenever you see that, I want you to think about, okay, those are my nerves. Those are your pain receptors. Those are your communicators. And it's talking about how your brain is the control over all of it. It's all linked together and back up to your brain. So that allows us to feel touch. It allows us to feel hot, cold. Um, it allows us to smell, hear, all of those senses that it said, they're all connected to our nervous system. The brain controls many functions of your body without your thinking about them. You breathe, your heart beats, and you digest food without thinking. It just happens. For other things, the brain tells muscles what to do. The brain decides what to do based on information from your sense organs. What it does depends a lot on what you have been taught. 
If you see a problem, two plus two equals blank, you know the answer because you were taught how to add. So this is basically saying that there are many things that our body does that we don't have to worry about it because our body just does it by itself. The brain just controls it. You don't think about, oh, I have to breathe again. Oh, I have to breathe out. Oh, I have to breathe in. No, your body just does it. But there are certain things that we have to tell our brain to do. Oh, I need to, I need to pick up this cup to drink it. You have to make your body do it. That's what, it's, that's what it's talking about here. Respiratory system. This system takes care of breathing. Oxygen is part of the air that you breathe. Air enters through your nose and mouth. It travels to your lungs through your trachea, that word is trachea, or windpipe. So here, okay, it's just a tube that lets you breathe and it's connected to your lungs. Once air is in your lungs, blood moves the oxygen and takes it to the cells of your body. Your lungs also remove carbon dioxide from blood. The carbon dioxide leaves your body every time you breathe out. So what this is talking about is the respiratory system is how our body breathes. When we breathe, we take in oxygen. The reason why we need oxygen is not just to fill up our lungs, but because it's taking here, once the air is in your lungs, it actually goes into your blood. Our blood takes that oxygen and pumps it throughout our body. And then when we breathe out, we're breathing out the carbon dioxide, which is the bad stuff from our blood, the toxins and the bad things. The oxygen is what helps us get nutrients into our blood. Circulatory system. The circulatory system is made up of your heart and blood vessels. Your heart pumps blood through your body. It never rests. Blood delivers food and oxygen to every cell in your body. It also picks up waste products from cells and takes them to the lungs and kidneys. The waste then leaves your body. So circulatory actually comes from the word circulate. When something circulates, it means it moves through. So the, cir the circulatory system actually literally means that the blood is moving through your body. That's why it's called that because all of these blood vessels and veins and arteries, they're all filled with blood and your heart pumps it all throughout and back again. So it takes it, pumps the clean, moves out the old, pumps in the clean. It's just a constant cycle. That's where the word circulatory comes from. So I want you to think of the word circle. We know that a circle just continues to move around and around. It's the same thing. Digestive system. Digestion breaks down the food you eat. Food must be broken into very tiny particles so that it can be carried by the blood to cells. When food enters your body, it mixes with saliva or spit. Saliva begins digesting the food. When you swallow, food travels down a long tube to your stomach where it mixes with other chemicals that digest it more. So keep in mind, when we read about the trachea, that's not the same as your esophagus. This tube right here that leads to your stomach is called the esophagus. The trachea that leads to your lungs is a different pipe, okay? So one does one thing for air and your lungs and your respiratory system, and then the other, when we eat, when we drink, that goes down a different tube. So weird that our body knows, right? And goes into your stomach to digest and give your body energy and nutrients. Then the food enters your small intestine. Here, more chemicals mix with the food. Blood moving through the walls of the small intestine carries away the food or the digested food. Food that is not digested continues onto your large intestine. It is then removed as waste. And yes, by waste, they're talking about poop. Okay, calm down. It's all right. Everyone does it. So here's your um, small intestine goes around here and then your large intestine. The reason it's large is because it's all bundled up inside of you. So it has to travel through all these little tubes like a little maze. Reproductive system. Humans must reproduce in order to survive. All living things must reproduce, not just humans. Special organs and glands in the reproductive system allow humans to make new human beings. Conclusion. This is a look at some important systems in your body. Many other parts also help you stay strong and healthy. You can help your body do its job by eating well and getting exercise. You can also help by avoiding stress and unsafe situations. All right, so remember some of these really important words that we learned. Okay, remember cardiac muscle, that's your heart. 
Um, we talked about joints, the large intestine, small intestine, skeleton. All right, as you do your work today, remember some of those words, that way you can pronounce them yourself when you're reading and to help you answer the questions. And make sure you leave a comment when you're done.